I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, my beautiful earth sign fertility goddesses. Welcome to your weekly fertility guidance video, okay? These are your weekly fertility guidance messages from the divine about your fertility journey, okay? If you're trying to conceive, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Join our community. We are on our way to our first 1,000 subscribers. So I would love to have you be a part of this beautiful celebration here, <laughs> okay? Joining our community. Um, let's get into your message. So we're going to look at a fertility affirmation for you this week, as well as your overall energy and your journey this week. Um, Spirit is going to tell us some things that we should do here. And I say we because I am a Virgo, okay? So I am right here with my earth goddesses. Um, and then we're going to get a yes or no answer here, okay? So if you don't have a question right now, don't worry. You can just skip over it. Go into the I say skip because at the end, we're going to be announcing the winner for the free fertility reading uh, for this week. So you can just skip that part and come back to it later this week if you don't have a question right now. Okay. Uh, but if you just want to listen to the guidance, you can uh, because there's always guidance with the yes or no answer most of the time. I'm going to say most of the time. Okay. Because um, <laughs> if it's just yes and it's just like yes, right? Um, but yeah. Let's start off with your affirmation here. Thank you so much for joining me this week in this video. I love all of your guys' support, okay? All the beautiful comments that I get, the emails that I receive, the messages that I receive stating that you guys love these readings. I'm so, so glad that you love them um, because I love providing them. Uh, let's go ahead and see what Spirit's affirmation is for you this week. So for my earth signs, we have, oh, this hit me in the gut. I deserve for my healthcare providers to listen to me. Mm, that's a great one. That's a great affirmation. Screenshot that, write it down, whatever it is, if it resonates with you, okay? You definitely deserve for your healthcare providers to listen to you. And if they're not listening to you, then they're not the one for you. Okay, point blank period. So um, I'm also hearing though, some of you guys, it's time to go to the doctor. It's time for you to get back on your horse. It's time for you to start taking care of things, start taking care of responsibilities, doing the things you need to do. Okay. Especially if your body has been sending you signals about something, go get it checked out. Okay. Um, when I read healthcare, I immediately thought like, Hey, somebody's been kind of slacking. Okay. And it's time to go get checked out. It's time for you to go follow through with whatever plans you had previously that may involve a physician of some sort. Maybe you got to do some blood work. Maybe there's some, a semen analysis your partner needs to do. Okay. There's something that the divine is, um, guiding you to do this week. Okay. And to take care of, um, responsibility. I do feel like it may be base work. So something that is like foundational. Okay. So take care of that this week goddess let's see what your overall energy is for this week here now that we have your affirmation what is your overall energy for my earth signs my earth signs Ooh, we have two that just flew off top so the first one is be a comfort to yourself okay so here on the photo she's covering her heart space okay she may be trying to protect herself now the way she has her hands kind of cross it kind of reminds me of like wings like dove wings i have no idea why it also reminds me of band-aids okay so there is definitely some healing here i feel like it's going on this week for you could be healing of your heart space could be healing from a um past experience could be healing from fears and anxieties from the future okay you may be thinking about the future and like what is to come um maybe even from a provider's um care in the past okay where you're just kind of like i haven't gone to the doctor because i could i couldn't trust my last one right so i do feel like um <laughs> your your angels are saying comfort is an inside job okay so if you don't feel like you're getting the comfort that you need from your outside sources you're there like literally okay do it yourself okay spirit it's like it's time for you to do it yourself okay speak to yourself in a loving positive way like we honestly we don't realize how powerful our words truly are okay like the spelling bee right when you're in a spelling bee what are you doing you're you're, you're just spelling out words and what are spells spells cast <laughs> all types of things right spells create certain desires they make certain desires come into fruition okay and that's exactly what words are so though our words are so powerful when we say things for ourselves to ourselves are about ourselves even even if it's we're joking right because the universe doesn't understand a joke so even if we're trying to joke like oh you know i'm ugly or you know i this this whatever i don't even like to say it like that because 
the universe is listening to me all the time. Um, and I definitely don't feel that way about myself. But like literally, you know, it just depends on whatever we say. We always we all do it. I've done it plenty of times, especially on my TTC journey. I've definitely said like, I guess I just can't blah, 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 right? I guess it's just not for me, blah, 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 whatever I'm talking about. Um, and literally, I'm putting that out into the universe that it's not for me, right? Um, that, you know, <laughs> literally, I'm pushing away my desires in a, such a strong, energetic form because usually when we're frustrated with ourselves, when we speak badly about ourselves, usually it's with a lot of energy, Okay, it's with a lot of energy. Let me check the camera. Yep, we're still good. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Um, the camera cuts off sometimes, so I just want to check it randomly. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely, I feel like it is important for you to use that same amount of energy that you say, that you use when you're saying something negative about yourself or you're mad at yourself or whatever. Say it with that same amount of passion, but in a loving way, positive words. I am pregnant. Um, I can conceive a healthy baby and carry a healthy baby and have a healthy pregnancy and give birth to a healthy baby and have a healthy birth for myself. Like you literally, I can be happy throughout my pregnancy. I can have <laughs> a provider, a health provider that believes in me and that is emotionally there for me and that is mentally there for me, has mental space for my case okay whatever it is that you want to say speak it out with the same amount of energy as you do when you say something that is not of love and light okay um it says do something that nourishes you no in this moment all is well exactly exactly so some of you guys have been covering your heart you have been um trying to to uh, block your heart space from certain things and spirit is like Know that all is well, okay? You deserve what you know you deserve, okay? And that's just point blank, period. Retreat to the natural world, okay? I'm not surprised that this other message came out because we are earth signs here and we love to go to the natural world, okay? Now, for some of you guys, most of you, I feel like, this is in regards to your food, okay? Your nourishment, okay? Going outside as well is what I'm seeing. Maybe going for walks, going to the park, grounding yourself, um, putting your feet on the roots of trees, leaning up against your back against the tree trunk, sitting on the ground, um, you know, whatever it is that you do to ground yourself and connect with nature, connect with Mother Earth. I feel like this is what you're being called to do, um, as well as get nice vitamin D here, okay, with this sunlight shining through. I feel like, okay, vitamin D is coming out for some of you guys. But Retreat to the natural world. Some of you guys have also been hermiting, okay? You've been, you've retreated, okay, into like a, a mode where you're like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to um, take care of responsibilities, okay? And that's what I was picking up in the beginning. Like, this is a week of taking care of responsibilities. This is a week of doing things that you said you were going to do in the past that you never really got a chance to do or you just kind of pushed retreat it and you kind of like pushed back and you're like nope i'll do it another time this is a week to take care of business okay um it says go where you feel most alive a peaceful forest the mountains your local park let the ocean roar through you be revived by nature's wonder okay so some of you guys are actually going to be revived by going out in nature um and exploring the natural world okay whether this is with your mouth like you're eating greens and you know salads and and healthier choices and drinking water um or whether this is with your body with your feeling right you're feeling the energies around you of the trees of the grass of the sun okay um of the ocean maybe you're in the water this week okay but i feel like that's going to help motivate you it's going to help revive you it's going to give you the energy that you need so that you can take care of these responsibilities this week still good yep we're still good okay let's go ahead and finish up this reading here okay so i have these two messages let's go ahead and pull out a few more let's pull on a few more here pull on a few more Okay, let's see what we have here for my earth sign spirit. This one is sticking out. <laughs> Stay in your bubble, okay? Stay in your bubble. Now, some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be getting... Ooh, my third eye started itching. Um, some of you guys, I feel like are going to... You're going to be getting... Um, you're going to start feeling so good. You're going to start feeling so good this week that you're just going to be like... Poof, ready to get out there. 
ready to do this, ready to do that, okay? Do not overwhelm yourself, okay? I feel like this stay in your bubble here. Of course, I was picking up the energy of you being in hermit mode before and like trying to stay in your own lane here and retreating. But I also feel like um, this is also the energy of you needing to stay in your bubble in a healthier way or in a healthy way, okay? So not where you're to the point where you're not doing take care of responsibilities, but to the point where you're staying in your own lane and you're not trying to overdo, you're not trying to overdo, point blank period. You're not trying to overdo, okay? That's what I'm seeing here with this stay in your bubble. After stability, okay? So some of these things you're going to be able to take care of, you're going to be able to, um, Ah, okay, so some of the things that Spirit is showing me, okay, um, the responsibilities that you're, you are meant to take care of this week, the responsibilities that you're meant to, um, yeah, take care of, they are going to help bring in stability and then you are going to conceive, okay? So um, this could be within your finances, within your household, okay, within your, um, your career, Okay, there's some sort of stability here that needs to be created um, within your life that is going to help you um, push you forward, okay, into this new way of living, into this pregnancy here, okay? Um, wow. <laughs> wow, all right. Um, I say that because that resonates with me so well. That's crazy. But we have stay in your bubble, okay? So don't try to do too much here. Um, and overwhelm yourself and then you retreat back into hermit mode instead of actually being outside, okay, outside and doing things and connecting with the natural world. Because I feel like, especially with my Virgos, I feel like we have two different types of natural. We have the natural where we feel like in hermit, right, where we don't want to go nowhere. We want to be to ourselves and keep to ourselves and we're like, I'm not letting you in and I'm not going outside either. And then we have natural where we're like, oh my gosh, I want to be in nature. I want to... You know, explore all the things in nature. I want to go to the, be with the trees and the forest. Where's the fairies? And, you know, and at least that's me, right? Um, let me know if you can relate down below. But I have two different hermit modes where I'm just kind of like, or two naturals, if you will. Two different naturals where I'm like, one time, I want, I might want to just leave me alone. Leave me alone, okay? I just want to be to myself, my own energy. And the other times where it's like, no, I want to be in nature, nature, okay? Um, so I definitely feel like that's what spirit is calling to do is to be in nature, nature, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have for you this week. Uh, a little indulgence is okay, okay? So there's a, a little indulgence is okay. And this may be literally indulging in your um, food, okay? Because we were picking up natural foods here. Um, but it could also be like indulging in your environment, like staying in that that bubble, okay, that's where it's saying, like, stay in your bubble. Um, for others, I have here a message for your partner here, which says Mel Supplements. Okay, so there is a need. I feel like there is a need for you to, um, oh, excuse me, there is a need for you to take some, or your partner to take some Mel Supplements or something to help um, in, them enhance their fertility. So get those Mel Supplements this week, okay? I feel like Spirit is encouraging you to buy those Mel Supplements this week, whatever you've been thinking about, whatever you've been talking about get them okay get them that may actually bring in stability into your path um as well okay um know that a little indulgence is okay so don't overdo it when it comes to your food your junk food your sodas your chips whatever it may be your fast foods okay a little indulgence is fine don't overdo it when it comes to staying indoors okay don't overdo it when it comes to trying to do all the things okay um especially my capricorn you guys just like to woo. You guys just work, 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 right? And I don't know if it's the same in your TTC journey, but like, you know, I just feel like don't try to overdo it because I feel like when you try to overdo it, then you're not going to want to do it, okay? Um, what else do we have here, Spirit? So we have take a class, okay? So take a class. I felt like it called me with the green there and then the male supplement. I don't know. So some of you guys are going to be taking a class this week. Maybe you're learning more about your fertility journey. Maybe you're in, um, what is it called? Um... I was going to say enabling, but it's not enabling. Maybe you are growing something, okay, like an ability or something, or you're enhancing, enhancing. Thank you, Spare. I'm like enabling, it's not right. Enhancing something, okay, by taking a class, you're, you're learning more knowledge. We also have save money, okay? So for, I feel like for some of you guys, this stability here is your finances, okay? It's time for you to save some money. Time for you to prepare for this beautiful baby coming, that's going to be coming into your life, okay? Now let's go ahead and, um, ask your question. 
if you don't have a question, you can just skip this part and go into the last section, which is all about the winner. Congratulations in advance to my winner for this week for your free fertility reading. If you want to enter for next week, definitely subscribe to the channel. Write your name down below as well as um, what else? Spirit. Date of birth. <laughs> in the comments, and I'll add you to our little circle that we, our little spinner thing that we use every week. So hold your question to close to your heart. Like do this right here. Put your hands over your heart. Hold your question close to your heart. Take a deep breath and I'm going to pull your yes or no answer. Oh, okay. So we have a, we actually have a yes or no, okay? So the answer is reconsider, okay, which is a no. Um, so I feel like there is something that you've either reconsidered. Now, for those of you guys who didn't ask a question and you're looking for a message, I feel like there was something that um, you've either reconsidered in the past that Spirit is asking, or you've tried to do in the past that Spirit is asking you to reconsider for now, okay, so I feel like the timing may be right for you to reconsider something. For some of you guys, this definitely involves going to a doctor. Like I said, you may have tried to go to the doctor in the past. Things didn't work out. Now it's time for you to go again and try again, okay? So for some of you guys, this is what this is, okay? You may be reconsidering doing something um, this week. Um, and for others, you may be contemplating, should I do this? Should I not? Okay, and Spirit is like, reconsider, okay, look into doing something else, okay? So whatever um, energy floats your boat, okay, and fits with your story. That is the energy that is meant for you. Don't try to make something fit for you if it's not for you, okay? But I am picking up two messages here. One of if you're already looking into something and you kind of feel uneasy about it, Spirit is saying reconsider, okay? This is not the time to move forward with it. There may be something better. Now, for those of you guys who have been sitting ducks and you haven't been taking care of responsibility or you haven't been acting on something, okay, it is time for you to dabble back into that, okay? and look further into that and maybe even get back into what you were doing previously. Reconsider doing it, okay? Because it was going to lead someplace. You maybe just didn't have the right person, okay? Or the right health provider if this is with a doctor, okay? So that is what I have for my beautiful earth signs. I hope this message helps you this week. Um, and congratulations in advance to the winner. Stay tuned to see if it's you. Bye.